You're watching TVC News at 10. The Nigerian Army 301 Artillery Regiment will soon relocate to its permanent site on the outskirts of Gombe Town. Well, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Chukur Burate, revealed this during an operational visit to Gombe. Correspondent Lanria Deemi was with the security chief and he has details. It was Valentine's Day, February 14, 2014 when the dreaded terrorist group Boko Haram invaded Gombe, killing and destroying everything in their path. Police stations, prisons, and businesses, nothing was spared. I was stubborn. I was stubborn. I it was the gallant men of the 301 Artillery Regiment that stood as the last defense of the city. The Gombe State Governor and the Chief of Army Staff are paying tribute to the sacrifices of these soldiers. They are also confident that lasting peace will soon be established in the northeast region. There have been in the past some incidences, even when there was an incursion into Gobe Town, which was really unfortunate. But for a long time, we have not had any incident, and uh, it is as a result of the People's Cooperation. The Nigeria Army, especially, has contributed immensely in restoring peace in the northeast and in fact in the wider Nigeria. Relatively to what was happening before the chief was appointed and what we have today. The army chief also inspected work at the permanent site of the 301 artillery regiment. He also wants this critical army general support formation to relocate from the metropolis to the outskirts of the city as soon as some of the new facilities are completed. So we hope in the shortest possible time we will be able to relocate finally to the permanent site, which is uh, more spacious, more befitting. We will have facilities for training, especially uh, our, our range classification as well. This is very, very important. The 301 Artillery Regiment is taxed with providing general and long-range support to troops battling insurgency in the northeast region and is also critical in maintaining security in Gombe State. Lanre Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.